Okay guys, so today what I'm gonna be doing is uh, I'm getting, I gotta redo this splitter, so I'm gonna take it off. Um, I already have a, uh, see how that's a little bent there? I already have a uh, splitter rod support. And now I'm in the house for it to replace it. And then uh, that's coming off and the bumper's coming off. And then I have to cut out the, uh, the front bash bar kind of deal there. Just so I can, um, cause I'm building ducting for the radiator and the inner cooler and I gotta put in an oil cooler as well. So I gotta get rid of that big chunk of metal and also it'll be a little nice weight reduction. So I have some metal down over there for it. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna take off the bumper now. I'm not gonna bother you guys with, uh, with the video of that cause it's quite boring, but yeah. So uh, I'll be back when the bumper's off. Yeah, the bumper's coming off now. I don't know where the fuck I'm gonna put it. Oh, about these. All right, guys. So now what I'm gonna do is take off this bash bar, and uh, that should be pretty easy. It looks like there's only four bolts holding it in. So, uh, which are like one, two, three, four. And then four on this side, so eight all the other, I guess you'd say. So yeah, I'm gonna pop that off right now. Um, should be pretty quick and easy. They look like they're 14s. Should be wrong though. Yeah, they're 14s. Yeah, they're 14s. Oh, there it is. Holy <laughs> shit. It's pretty hefty, it weighs quite a lot for what it is. Damn, happy that's going in the garbage. Boom, in there it goes. So, next step is to uh, take these off. They even come off. And then I'm gonna follow some lines I'm wearing. Cut. All right, guys, so I got this side off, and I'm gonna hit this side now. Looks like it's been replaced. Interesting. O three eleven ninety six. So I guess in nineteen ninety six this thing was hit maybe. Looks fine to me if you ask me though. Available in your area. All right guys, so that's what it's looking like right now. Um, that was the biggest, hardest thing to take off right there. Like, unbelievably hard. Um, I guess because, uh, well, it was hard because of the tack welds holding it in place in like the back area, like right here. That was really hard, as you can see, it's really gentle, so I don't have to paint over that so it doesn't rust. But yeah, so that's where that's at. So that's finally out. And I'm gonna have to uh, custom make some brackets now for it. So uh, show you what that's gonna look like. So, uh, got some angle here, or whatever you wanna call it. 
Um, I'm gonna put this here. Right there. I'm just getting rough marks right now for it. I'll straighten everything out eventually. But I just want to cut two of these and then I'm gonna have them stick like that, roughly, maybe closer in, just so there's more support there. But yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do real quick, and then I'll get back when those are cut. All right guys, so I have these little brackets here that I just made up. All right, the reason why they look like shit is because I didn't have anything wide enough, so I had to weld these two together. So what I did is I basically just cut my uh, angle in half and just weld them together. And then I painted them so they're rust proof, but uh, so it's gonna sit. And then I put a bolt in there so that um, I can remove it if I ever choose to. And then I'm just rusted up, preventing it right now. Just some basic ass shit. And yeah, and then uh, once this dries up, I'm gonna weld it on here. And then uh, I'll let you know what I'm doing from there. I'm gonna be putting the bar. It's really thin, I know, but I don't plan on crashing, so. And I know no matter what I put there, just gonna fucking bend anyway, so screw it. Just gonna put whatever. But yeah, that's where I'm at right now. All right, guys, so I got them welded on. Not the prettiest welds. It was a huge pain in the ass to weld them on. Um, that was a lot better over here. But yeah, so now I have these little brackets that I have drilled the hole in so that I can easily remove if I need to. Yeah, it's gonna go like that. I got a bolt to bolt them all in. And yeah, and then now I'm gonna line that up. All right guys, so now I'm gonna measure this out. I'm gonna go down here. Keep it tight. Now I'm gonna cut that up and see how it goes. Obviously, I'm gonna make this level when it when I do uh, line it up. Where did I put that mark? I'll find it somewhere. Yet. All right, but yeah, I'll be right back. All right, so I'm just gonna. Hold this up, see? That's good, and we're good. Not as tight as I wanted it to be, but. Smack these in a bit. Just to make it snug. So that I. square it up and make it level that's how it's gonna look right, so i'm tired it's like 10 o'clock at night um it looks pretty good right now i ran out of <coughs> uh weld or wire for uh, either this side or that side or in the corner um but yeah um it's pretty good compared to length uh, i cut you know, bottom, box, corner out here, just, you know, put some weight reduction and it's really not needed. And I just rounded off the edges so I don't cut myself if I'm ever in there. And then uh, all I really have to do is get this flat bar and, you know, just put it up there. And then here for my intercooler mount. Intercooler mount, sorry, I don't know if you heard me. And then uh, I'm just gonna make a, a little bracket Basically goes down and then a 90 just to hold on this guy. Um, it's not really needed, but I feel like it'll be more secure if I did it that way. I mean, honestly, I could just take this off and probably be fine. Doesn't really be, need to be needed. Might just do that, actually. But yeah, um, that's where I'm at right now. I uh, gotta get new more wire so I can weld, but for now, uh, it's just gonna be on hold. But yeah, this is what it came out to. I'm gonna paint it up. My welds aren't the prettiest. I was having troubles, um, but it, it's sturdy. 
I stood on it. Um, it's not going anywhere. And I'm 99.9% .9 sure if I'm going to hit something hard enough where this collapses, no matter what was there, that wasn't going to hold. Nothing was going to hold. It's just a bad crash if I ruin this. <laughs> so this is mainly just to hold everything in place, you know, keep these two, you know, I guess sturdy mounting points. I don't think really anything needs to be there, to be honest. But yeah, I just wanted something to mount my intercooler to and so I can get better routing for my ducting that I plan on doing soon. But yeah, it's going to get all painted and lots of work to be done. But for now, I think this is where I'm going to end the video and just do another part for it because I am tired. But yeah, anyways, thanks for watching, guys.